Hi, right, what's up? This is uh second coming of uh, iHoss Tech Corner. This is the question we got for tonight. I think you read it. It's, How do I get songs from my iPhone 3GS to my new iPhone 4? They can sync apps, contacts, but not music. What can we do? P.S. I doubt you're gonna like the answer because the other information you gave me was <clears throat> okay. It's the same computer as you did on before, but what you didn't do is you don't have a music library see like I've, I have music in my library if you don't have any music in your library well, you're not going to be able to go from uh, you basically you can't go from phone to computer to phone you have to go from computer to phone computer to phone it's, it, you can't go in, in a, like a, a series of uh, what you call I guess uh, a pattern like uh a phone to, to computer, then back to phone again. Doesn't work that way for Apple. You can't really do it that way. The only way you can do it is if you do, you purchase songs on your phone, and then it syncs it to your your uh, music library. That's the only way it ever goes from phone to, to computer, then back to phone again. But uh, things you can try is that if you have, say, another computer with songs on it, or also you have other MP3s that you've downloaded legally then you can um go to say your music file like i have windows 7 so there's also a music file it usually has some music in it like mine uh let's see here my music file has all kinds of mp3s that i'm about to take from this one to put on another I, I, I'm, I'm mp3 player you can do it that way put them into your itunes media folder because if you click on the itunes it says itunes media then it says music. That's where all my songs are. So you can take the songs from another one and put it into there, and then it'll go to your iPhones, iTunes, media, to where whenever you go to sync your phone, you want to a check for updates unless it already says it again. Unless it already says it has it right here. And then you also want to go to the music section, up and up on the top tabs, and make sure that this thing. Are checked the entire music library. You can select certain playlists, artists, albums, anyway. Um, include everything like a voice memos, your uh, videos, anything you want to put on there. You can. If not, then you don't have to check those in. Just make sure the uh, check is at the top and the dots right here. And after that, just go down and hit sync. And it'll go and sync everything through. And then when it's done, it'll take a couple seconds. I don't think I have everything, anything new on mine. I don't think anyway. But the reason you're, I'm, I'm saying you're not gonna like the answer is because nothing you can do. You have to get a music from another, uh, um, another source, put it on your computer, and then sync that to your um, iPhone. Um, I'm, I'm your new iPhone. Um, let's see. Backing up, which takes the most, takes the longest. It also tells you down here, uh, just like put the, I'm, 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 I'm to point this out for like the layman, I guess, guys. The color by color tells you all the stuff you have on your iPhone, the capacity of your iPhone, everything like that. Like I'm about almost halfway there. It's probably because my apps, my apps are getting crazy. I have a lot of apps. And my apps block is about the same as my my audio block. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Mm, sometime today. Alright, well anyway, it's going to keep on going because i got a couple of apps I need updated. So, um, I hope you uh, don't mind that answer. It's the answer we have to give you. Um, you said you couldn't find it anywhere else. That's probably because there's no way to fix it. You have to go from um, getting... You have to go to get songs on your iPhone 4. You're going to have to go from the iPhone 3G. Maybe you can do it that way. Maybe you can take the uh, iPhone Media... From your iPhone 3G, I, I doubt it, because because there's no way to take your media off your phone. Just like legitly, like you have a uh, a flash drive, you go into there and take your phone off. Because and when you bring up the computer, removable disk E. I don't think this. I think this might be the other one. Uh, the iHouse right here. Yeah, it's all pictures. See, it doesn't let you do. It doesn't let you take off the uh, videos and stuff. Or it doesn't let you take off the music. It just lets you do the like, pictures. 
So, I hope that that works for your answer. Sorry it doesn't help, but I guess it helps you from, from looking, I guess. Um, there you go. I, I, and, and then it, everything's complete, and you're ready to go. So, yeah, there's your answer. All right. And another subject is is that you have these new MP3s like these. Right? Don't worry about the name. This is my my I, my nephews like to tag everything. This is what they got for Christmas. It's basically iPhone f f or iPod f a touch like a, a format, but it is a off brand kind of cheapo uh, MP3 player that does. I mean, if you like music, and basically what you're trying to do is get music and listen to music, th these work perfectly. The only thing it doesn't do is if you have, um, say, music on your iTunes that you bought from iTunes, then M4As or also MP MPG4s, as they're called, um, they're not compatible. So what you have to do is you have to download a converter that converts the MP4s or M M4As into MP3s. These are all th these also work for WMVs and there's a whole slew of other things, but the MP4, the most popular things. So, what I did is I went online, downloaded this thing called Switch Sound Finder, and you just take an audio file that you want from a file, uh, any of these will work, you click it over, and then you hit convert, and then it puts it into a new file, and then you take that file, like I'm about to do right now, and we are here. This is an iTunes music file, so I have to go back to the music file. And you, you want to hit all these. Bam. Get rid of them. Take rid of those two. And at the bottom, I got some ringtones down here. Got some memos. Alright. And then you just bring it, drag them over. And that's it. And it's loading up. And then when you're done, you're ready to go. So, that's pretty much it for Tech Corner number one. If you have any questions or comments, or if you know how to fix it any better than I do, which it's not out there, but you can try. Um, hit a comment below, and uh, prove me wrong, I guess. Alright, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.